So you bought it in Ireland. Do so you think it's okay to bring this on a suitcase on an international flight? Now I'm asking it again. Why do you have this in your suitcase? What is the purpose of you having this in your suitcase? Just put your hand away. Don't touch it while I have it in my hand. See where the passengers are coming from here. Just keep your eyes glued to that car dock. Over 80% of visitors entering Ireland by air do so through Dublin Airport. Here, busy customs staff keep an eye on the passengers who disembark 180,000 flights a year. So where have you come in from? Excuse me? India. India. When you go on duty in the morning, you don't know what you're going to be hit with. It could be anything. So one big suitcase. Indeed. For one duvet. Basically all of them was one large duvet which is uh, quite a common occurrence. Uh, people think Ireland is a very cold climate. You said it was ginger in there. You told me there was ginger in this, my friend. Our bread and butter is cigarettes and tobacco, but my preference would be seasoned drugs any day of the week. It's the funniest ginger spices I've ever laid eyes on in my life now. Eggs. Eggs. You're not allowed to take any animal product. Eggs would be considered animal no, product. No. No problem. Are you living in Ireland? No. No? Holiday? Holiday. My boyfriend. Where's your boyfriend? He's waiting to me. He's outside. outside. Are you married yet? I hope. Very soon. You hope? Very soon? I've just asked you to pop your bags. Are you refusing to put your bags in the extra room? The other one was asking for them. Why would you, why would you stop me? Because you're travelling through customs channels. My husband says that I'm very nosy. So that is one of the... Major things you have to be in this job is to be nosy. And you're saying three weeks, you said, you're staying on holiday? Yeah. Yeah? Where's your clothes? I don't need to have clothes. You don't need to have clothes? <laughs> I will stay in bed. <laughs> she did have a pair of uh, rabbits, bunny ears now, uh, all right. Lucky boyfriend. In Dublin Airport, it's been a busy day. And customs officer Bruce Heller, better known to his colleagues as Bruce Almighty, is manning the channels. Sorry, buddy, just put your phone down just for a second, please, yeah? He's called Bruce Almighty because nothing gets past him and he always gets results. Just do me a favour before you go, please, and put your bag through the extra machine. Thank you. I'll well, give it me all because I really enjoy doing the job. Good man, that's great. It's very interesting, it's challenging. You just have to try and be in your towels all the time. Most of the smuggling offences, like the drugs, the cigarettes, all these smuggling offences, they all fund criminality. We do a serious enough job out here, so we're, we're doing our best. Now, I'm, I'm, now, listen, I'm speaking to you now. I'm a, okay. I'm a law enforcement officer in yeah. Dublin Airport. I'm not interested in who else you're speaking to, to be honest, my friend. I'm asking you, why did you bring this to the mine with you? You bought it in Ireland, did you? But yes, when I was last time, but I was coming you, with the car at home. So, I had no problem. So you bought it in Ireland? Yeah, but it, it has no gas on it now. I don't know, it has it. it is, do, you, do you think it's OK to bring this on a suitcase on an international flight? But the airport in Bucharest, they let me with it. Come here, this is not Bucharest. Okay. This is Dublin. Don't I keep telling me about Bucharest. That. One minute he bought the weapon here, he brought it from Dublin, then the next minute he bought it in his own home country. So and then the next minute he doesn't even live here and he's coming for a holiday. You don't, you don't bring it on a holiday, with you? No. But why, why do you have it in your suitcase? Why did you bring it? Why for did my you? own protection from her and the house. That's, that's not funny, buddy. That's I, not funny, OK? It's funny. Well, it's, it, 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 it is trying to be funny. It's not funny. No. Now, I'm asking it again. Why do you have this in your suitcase? What is the purpose of you having this in your suitcase? Just uh, put your hand away. Don't touch it while I have it in my hand. You got a lot of uh, people bringing in machetes and, and pelicans, nunchucks, swords, daggers. But we don't have a safe facility here to store them. And as well as that, the guards have a facility where they can have the weapons destroyed if they do seize them.
Is it's a bar the moon jewel the weapon? But I saw it on, on every fishing store because I'm a fisherman. I like to fish. What's the, the pistol got to do with fishing? You have wild boars here in Romania. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, but that, that's not fishing. That's not like, used though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't kill a goldfish with that. Do, do you have gas canisters for that? Uh, I think I have. Do you have two. gas in your bag I as well? Just two. two. Is it more than one jewel? I really don't know. Do you I understand have... that though? Yeah, yeah. I understand. You I'd say it's more than one jewel, is it? The jewel the times the speed that the pallets come out. Like, even a weapon with one jewel, you, you can take someone's eye out. It could be standing 20 or 30 yards away. We got fellas coming in with revolvers and pellet guns, and they can be adapted to fire live, round, live rounds. You know? But in these instances, we have to call the guard in, and it's up to them to decide whether they're going to let you walk out of here with that or not. The guard here arrived and the, the guards went in and they interviewed him and they saw his explanation for why he was bringing the weapon, etc., etc. But the guards were satisfied in the end that they were seizing the weapon and they took the weapon from him. So I don't think he'd be getting that weapon back. It's not just ports and airports that are targeted by smugglers. Some try to use the postal service. In the heart of the country is the mail centre at Port Leash, where the 360,000 parcels that are delivered to Ireland annually are checked by specially trained customs officers. It's also home to Stella. Get here. The million euro sniffer dog. In the three years she has been working, she has kept a hundred million euro worth of drugs off the street. You have to take into account this uh, is from all over the world. It's, it's, so there's thousands of smells. So the dog has to differentiate between each one. You see by the reaction in the dog, you can see now she's searching away, but I know the change and if she gets a whiff of something, she'll give you a change. You can see the slight difference in the tail, the movement of the dog. She starts what we call airing up. You see her maybe going up on her two hind legs, trying to get a scent in the air. And she'll try her hardest then to get to it. And I might have to go in and help her if she can't get close enough to the, the, the sack or the parcel. She's a, a drug dog. She's trained on cocaine, heroin, amphetamines, resin and herbal cannabis. Go on, get up here. Up. Just to get her down close to the scent, if there's something there. It could be sent just attracting, catching her attention, and she's to find out, what, investigate what it is. It's up here. She's giving an indication on the, on the trolley now. Come here. She doesn't want to come away from it. Sit. Mm. Fetch on. Right, she's given an indication of this package here. There's some organic material inside here. So we'll have to look inside it. There we go. In my experience, it looks like herbal cannabis. I'll have to carry out a NIC test on it, a narcotic identification kit, to see what it is. This is a, a MMC test. It's a test for cannabis. You put a small amount of the product into the jar and it reacts with the chemicals inside and it should come up the same colour as what's on the label on there. Give it a little time to react. You can see it's starting to turn red, the same colours on the jar. That's a positive test for cannabis. Another success for Stella, and the drugs are handed over to the authorities to be destroyed. We're waiting for the flight to come in, and we have one person on the flight that would be of interest to us. I see, you're looking over at belt three at the moment, is it? Yeah. And now we have him sorted. 